Hey friends, Blake here, and I've gone from two hives in my backyard to over 30,000 in the last several years. And in these videos, I try to take all those hard-earned lessons and distill them down uh, into helping you be a more successful beekeeper with just a few hives in your backyard. So this hive, I've got to admit, when I come into the bee yard, uh, the, our teaching bee yard here, and I see a problem, I get a little bit excited. As a beekeeper, I shouldn't because I, I don't want to see problems. But when I do see problems, I'm like, yes, I get to make a video about a problem and, and illustrate it. Because <laughs> if I were uh, a really hardcore educator, I would probably create problems and show them to you guys. But I can't make myself, I just, I just can't bring myself to make a hive uh, become a problem or, or create a problem uh, for the sake of the bees. So, so I always try to find real organic problems uh, so I can illustrate them to you guys. So it, uh, it, it's almost mid-November. Um, and as soon as I walked into this yard, um, I knew something's going on here. Look at the level of activity on this hive. A lot of activity. Now, if we had had a week-long cold spell where the bees weren't flying, and this was the first bright sunny day, and all the bees in this yard were flying like crazy, they are just getting out and stretching their legs after they've been cooped up in the cold. Um, or if this were springtime, you know, and, and I have a bunch of new baby bees emerging, I might expect to see some intense flight activity. But a couple of things concerned me about this hive. Number one, there's a lot of erratic behavior. Uh, it's not just peacefully going in and out. The buzzing is pretty loud. It's, you know, when a beehive is just peacefully coming in or the bees are just peacefully coming in and out in a normal situation, the buzzing isn't that loud. The buzzing's really loud. And then look, I've got this little crack up here and all these bees are kind of coming and going from this crack in addition to the entrance. Um, that tells me that this is a hive is probably being robbed it's being robbed out um, another thing i look at and i'll show you a little closer with the camera is i look at what are other hives doing in the bee yard so when i look at this hive there is some flight but not a lot and every bee every beehive in this yard is like this one just a little bit of flight cooler day low 70s not a lot of flight but when i look at this guy the flight is off the charts and you can see the couple of things the activity is really high the buzzing is loud i don't know if you can hear it or not look at all the debris look how dirty the front of this hive is these little specks of wax and propolis um, that's a clue to me that there's some robbing going on when i start seeing debris on the front you can see the crack here bees are coming and going now this isn't crazy extreme robbing behavior it's not great um, but i've certainly seen robbing behavior way more extreme than this but the fact that none of the other hives are exhibiting this behavior i've got bees all in these cracks i've got debris on the front door tells me that yeah you know something something is not right uh in this hive so let's take a quick look um and uh inside this hive and see what is going on now a quick look is going to tell me if this is a hive that I can save uh, or if it's too far gone. Now what I'm looking at, and apologies as I shift this camera around, but I want you to see what I see in this hive way more than I want you to see my face. So, so I am positioning this so that when I open up this hive, you're going to see what I'm going to see. Because if this hive is full of robber bees, I'm really not going to be able to save it. So when I open up this hive, I look quickly. Okay, I see very few bees that belong in here. It's not like their hive is full of bees. And I'm just seeing bees coming and going, robbing this hive out. I'm not seeing any bees up in this top box. It's basically empty except for robber bees. When I go down below, nothing but robber bees so you can see there's no brood all the bees up here they're just eating that honey um so this this hive is long gone uh i've got a little bit of brood but it's not much 
Uh, it's very spotty. Again, all robber bees. The bees that lived here are long gone at this point, and this hive is really just being robbed out. So there is nothing I can do at this point to save it. Um, it's just being robbed. And the fact that there is so little brood in this hive, I mean, this is the only frame right here that just had a tiny bit of brood on it, tells me this hive was really weak. And I know for a fact, because I did check it not long ago, this was a really weak hive. Um, and so this hive died and uh, it's now just being robbed out. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to let the bees rob this out. Um, and I'm actually gonna speed them up a little bit. I'm gonna take the lid off of this hive and leave the bottom box like that. I'm gonna set this box up on end like this. And I'm gonna leave it in this position for a couple of days so that uh, those robber bees can go ahead and finish what they started and rob out all that honey and uh, that way the the rest of the bees in this bee yard are going to have something to eat uh, or some for something to forage on and then once the bees have robbed uh, once the bees have robbed all this honey out of this top box and this bottom box then I'll take this comb and I'll store it for the winter um, so if the situation in which I would have tried to save this hive, if I had opened up this hive and there were still, you know, a box full of bees down here um, and a lot of brood and they were still just trying to defend this hive, then I would have put an entrance reducer on. Um, I would have put an entrance reducer on. I would have gotten a spare lid and I would have set it just like that across the entrance so that the robber bees no longer can tell where the entrance is, but the foragers that belong here will fly back behind this lid. Um, and that would have really slowed down the robbers. But um, in this particular case, there was really nothing to save. So if you have found this discouraging video helpful, uh, like and subscribe on Facebook, and we'll see you next time.